Oh, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Main Street Mower. Today I have a very special mower for you. It came out this last year. It's the new 2020 96 inch Toro with a gas engine. It's called the 7500G. This is based off the Toro 6000 frame. It's a 96 inch deck, that means four 72 inch style blades, not four 72 inch blades, but blades that go on a 72 inch, but it has four of them instead of three of them. That gives you the full 96 inches, one on each wing and two in the middle. This mower is going to be the solution to all your big fields, retention ponds, roadsides, and it's a gasoline version, so it's not too complicated. Most mechanics can work on it, and if you needed to ever replace it, it's not too expensive, which is also nice. Uh, they simplified this 7500G, it's less money than the 7500D, which is the diesel version. I think it's $5,000 less money, and it's a little less complicated. It has standard transaxles that you see on the 6000 series. It's got a 6000 series frame. It has belts rather than splined gear shaft and a, a gearbox. A little less maintenance goes into this, and the maintenance is cheaper that goes into this. So this is a little bit less expensive to buy and less expensive to own machine over time. It isn't diesel, it's gas, so you might have to reinvest over time as you, you know, put a lot of hours on it. But it's going to take care of a lot of grass quick. These mowers can mow up to 12 acres an hour. Come on! That is really insane. If you have a lot of grass to cut and not a ton of obstacles, this mower can do it and do it quickly. Also, the decks do fold down. You push a button, they fold down, you see them drop into place. Also, when it folds up, it is smaller than a 72-inch mower. It can fit on any normal landscape trailer uh, that will hold a 72. I've seen it go in enclosed trailers, open landscape trailers. It'll fit. Where any 72 inch fits, this will fit, which is pretty amazing. And it's got a 38 horsepower gas engine, so it's nothing too crazy, not too complicated. And if you needed to ever replace it, it's not too expensive, which is also nice. These engines have come a long way in the last few years. They now have a metal cam gear, they now have all kinds of new, harder, heavy duty parts, and it's been a reliable engine for us in the last couple of years. So something I like about this particular mower is that it's just familiar. We've already had a Z-Master, maybe a 3000, a 5000, or a 6000. This is in your wheelhouse, has a lot of similar parts, has a lot of similar feels and it's going to work very similarly except much much larger underneath here the hydraulics sparker pumps and it's like the 16 cc pumps you used to in the 6000s uh these are just a little bit bigger and beefier uh but basically what you see is a really heavy duty 6000 series mower but with the biggest possible engine option some reinforced parts and fold down decks it also has a horizon system on the throttle control, so you can select slow, medium, or fast, and basically it'll control your engine's RPMs, giving you the right amount of power for the application. So if you're in a field that's, you know, maybe it's in fall or spring, early, or even winter, and you don't need to have the full power of everything going, you can crank it down to medium or even low setting and mow there without having to use as much fuel. But if you're in middle of summer, it's wet, it's boggy, you need full max power, you put it in that rabbit mode and you'll hear that RPMs go way up and it'll keep and maintain that for you and give you the right power when and where. And I, I really appreciate that about the Verizon technology. Also, it has a really advanced control panel. You can monitor your engine RPMs, you can monitor your hydraulic oil times, your engine oil times go through all these different settings you could even put it in a slower mode so your operators can't mow it too fast it has so much features that are built into that horizon technology that's just absolutely incredible and they're even future gonna have it linked with their landscaper app that's gonna track where your mower is at any times and all kinds of GPS related things and that's all built into that technology that comes with this machine standard which is really amazing and I always say you know people how do you justify a machine so expensive and it's like, well, you're either gonna have to have two 72s to do the same job, plus two employees, or you can have one of these and one employee. And this buddy isn't gonna wake up with a hangover and it's gonna work every day. And so you can trust it and rely on it a little more than sometimes that staff person who's hard to find uh, these days. If you have a lot of grass to cut, this isn't for the landscaper doing residences all day. 
This is for the guy doing retention ponds, roadsides, big sites. Anytime you got somebody sitting on a zero turn for hours and hours, you should consider a 96 and you should go to your local dealer and try one. You can come to ours in Orlando, Florida and try this one. But I'm gonna demo it right now. This is a big field. I'm gonna mow this section here. Grass is around, I mean, the majority of the grass is around eight, nine inches tall. I mean, it has some runners, behay out there. I'm gonna cut it down to three inches. When you change your deck height, you change all four, or there's actually five pins you have to change. It's very easy to do. I could change it in, in less than a minute, really. Um, but we're gonna hop on it, run some laps, see how it does, and feel how it does, and then I'll talk to you more about it in a second. Come, watch this. That's really good. It, you know, it is a rear discharge. It leaves like some grass strips behind because it's dropping the grass straight back. It's not slinging it out like a side discharge, but I'm impressed with how well it cuts. This Bahia field, it's like no problem for it. This engine was plenty, plenty, plenty of power. And I'm sure that little bit of grass that it leaves behind as far as like the dead thrown grass would quickly fall down past the normal blade and dry up the second the sun hits it. It does not leave like massive clumps. It's just kind of a light blanket behind you. Very impressed with how the machine feels. It's very, very fast. I did not go max speed as far as uh, ground speed, not because it couldn't handle it, just because I'm not a good enough operator to go max speed, do straight lines that are worthy of YouTube. But the couple times I did go max speed, it cut just as good fast as it did slow. And uh, I could imagine you could mow this field in a few minutes, quite literally. And it takes normally a many, 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 many stripes with anything but a 72. And this would make it way faster than the 72. I could just see why this would be very cost effective to own. This field looks really flat, but it actually has a lot of serious bumps because it is normally mowed with a tractor. So it has a big ruts in it, big bumps in it. And that seat with the suspension, deluxe suspension seat, did a really great job saving my butt. I can tell that it was just really holding me and it did a lot for keeping me comfortable on this really, really bumpy ride. Uh, overall, the mower sounded great. Wasn't too much rattling, jingling craziness. It sounded really solid, felt really solid. And it's just kind of the uh, strength and uh, quality you would expect and hope for by Toro. I love the new 96 7500G. Uh, go buy a local dealer and check them out. Come on.